The Binding of Isaac is kind of an enigma. What started as a fun side project after the success of Super Meat Boy became a cult classic on Twitch and for fans of the roguelite genre. What caused it to become so popular? Well, maybe a little bit of luck, but also the fact that it's such a content-heavy game. There's literally hundreds upon hundreds of items to help you as you journey down floors of the basement. Add in the randomly generated elements, and the fact that you start fresh every single run, and you have a game that could be entertaining for a long time, with seemingly limitless possibilities as to how your build can end up. But that wasn't enough for Edmund McMillan. There could still be more. So, teaming up with developers Nicholas, The Binding of Isaac Rebirth was born. Just playing once can show you how different this remake is, but is it better? After playing extensively on both versions of the game, I thought it'd be neat to break it down and compare the two. I'm not going to go too in-depth with the story, just know that your mom is trying to kill you, so you escape down into the basement and descend further and further, discovering all kinds of enemies and items along the way. There's lots of nods to other video games, as well as spiritual undertones throughout. It's much deeper than that, but that's really all you need to know to get started. Let's talk about the visuals and music. This is the most obvious difference between the two games, with Rebirth being completely revamped into a pixel art style. While this is a big change, it doesn't make any of the old enemies or bosses look different, you can still tell exactly who they are. For those that aren't a fan of the pixel art, you can turn off the filter, though it looks a little odd to me. Everything kinda looks like a gummy bear or something. The game got a lot of quality of life improvements as well. The original was made in Flash, which gave it certain limitations, such as no controller support and low frame rate. Rebirth runs at a smooth 60 FPS, has improved dimensions at 60 16 by 9 and supports many different controllers if you want to use them. A new engine was built from the ground up so the game runs better, and can load more things on screen at a time without slowing down. The music is definitely good, without a doubt, but it's more eerie and creepy, unlike the predecessor where the tunes were more melodic and beat-centered. The new music seems to fit the atmosphere of the game really well, and the boss music gets pretty intense, but personally I miss the old jams. Sometimes it just made you want to dance. New Content what makes The Binding of Isaac so much fun is the items. You slowly become stronger, or not, as you pick up various items. From health ups, to damage ups, to speed ups, and even items that change the effect of your tier shots, including a giant laser beam from Brimstone, and an airstrike missile from Epic Fetus. So what did Rebirth do? Well, the only logical thing to do, add more items. But they didn't stop there. There are trinkets, which grant you a passive effect, and active items that you can use with the spacebar, all of which received a huge increase in number. There are new tier effects, including fear shot and flaming tears, but the most notable addition is the new item synergies available. When playing the original Isaac, if you got certain items together, it would combine and make a new tier effect, but some didn't combine as much as you would like them to. In Rebirth, while not every single item combines, there are a lot more possibilities for your character to end up with, such as Spoonbender fusing with Brimstone, which makes a giant homing laser that kills most enemies in one hit, or Mutant Spider combining with Epic Fetus to make four bombs drop all in a row. This is what the original game should have been like, and it's a very very welcome addition. Not to mention the huge slew of other content. New enemies and bosses, different challenges to try out, exciting characters to play as including the completely randomized Eden, so many hidden secrets, bigger rooms, a hard mode for those wanting more of a challenge, seated runs so people can share their experiences with other players, and even an entirely new level called the Dark Room. That's a lot of stuff! Remember, this is all in addition to the already existing content of the first game, so it feels like it nearly doubled in scope and depth. Gameplay. A common complaint I hear about The Binding of Isaac Rebirth is that it's too easy, and while I did seem to have a relatively painless time playing through Rebirth, I can't tell if it's because the game itself was made more accessible, or if I've just become a better player because of the hours logged in the original. There are parts that seem undoubtedly easier, like the fam and boss fight, or playing with Azazel who's overpowered from the start, but there are other changes that make the game harder, like your health capping out at 12 hearts. In the first game you could get as many hearts as you wanted, they would just scroll off the screen, but now you're limited in how survivable you are. And this was a big concern before I played. Another example of Rebirth becoming more difficult is the Mom's Heart boss fight. They added a lot of projectiles to dodge throughout the whole battle, almost making it a bullet hell section. Definitely more challenging than the original, where you could just use bombs to end the fight quickly. I think Rebirth might feel easier because there's just a larger amount of items that make you stronger. Maybe it was just me, but in the original it felt like I would always get some crappy spacebar item that didn't help me at all. But in Rebirth it's extremely rare to not get a damage up and lots of health ups in a single run. More variety also means you have more 
more options to build a better character with. In fact, a new item that was added is called There's Options, which lets you pick between two power-ups in every boss room, so you can build the strongest character possible. There's a mechanic where if you don't take any red heart damage on a floor, you're offered a deal with the devil, where you can trade some of your hearts for a good item. It feels like a greater emphasis is placed on these deals in Rebirth than in the first game. Most of the items are really good and make the game much easier if you take them. However, you have to play well enough to not take damage to even be offered these deals, so if you're a new player, you're sort of out of luck and will have a harder time in the beginning. There's almost no benefit to keep red heart containers other than to trade for these devil deals, so the game sort of leans toward having only soul or black hearts, your secondary health that you can't replenish. Which isn't bad, it's just unfortunate because it leads to less varied gameplay. The general strategy boils down to getting as many deals with the devil as you can and stocking up on soul or black hearts. You can also become Guppy, Isaac's pet cat, by collecting three or more Guppy items. This basically gives you an automatic win because for every tier that hits an enemy, a fly will spawn to do additional damage. In the original game, there were only four guppy items, but in Rebirth there are six, which means it's much easier to become overpowered and win easily. So is Rebirth easier than the original? Maybe. In the normal mode, and with certain characters, it does seem to take less effort to win. But the good news is there are all sorts of new ways to challenge yourself. You can play on hard mode, which makes harder champion versions of enemies appear more regularly. You can attempt to fight the secret final boss called Mega Satan, which always provides a great challenge. Or for the expert players, you can try to play as the Lost, a secret unlockable character that dies in one hit. Yes, to win as the Lost, you must never take a single hit of damage. This is almost excruciatingly difficult, and to make it worse, you have to complete the game on hard hard mode with this character to beat Rebirth 100%, well, 110% as it calls it in the real Platinum God achievement. So some parts seem easier, or at least more streamlined, while other new content definitely caters to veteran players, which, IMHO, seems perfect to me. I'm very pleased with the balance that Rebirth turned out to have. In fact, that seems to be what has changed the most in this remake, balancing. There's an equal emphasis now on the evil and holy side of the game. For the unaware, your path splits after the mom's heart fight, and you can choose to go down to Sheol or up to the cathedral. Cathedral. The final floor, the chest, was only accessible through the cathedral, but now they've added the dark room to make both paths equal and worthwhile to visit. The original had soul hearts representing the holy side, but now they've added black evil hearts which damage enemies when they're depleted. You could receive a deal with the angel if you refused to deal with the devil in the original, but now there's more reason to do this, because you can get pieces of a key to fight the coveted mega satan boss. Even in the small details, rebirth seems more evened out. There was an item in the original that gave you double trinket room, but now they've added items to give you double card or pill room. Don't want to try to become guppy every single run? Well now you can become lord of the flies too, by collecting three fly related items. Items. Guppy's Paw traded one red heart for three soul hearts, but the converter now lets you trade two soul hearts for one red heart container. But I don't know why you would ever do that. Really, when it comes down to it, Rebirth improved the Binding of Isaac in almost every way. They even added Boss Rush when you beat Mom in under 20 minutes, which appeals to those seeking a challenge as well as speedrunners. It's like the Binding of Isaac started out as an idea and the blueprint was produced, but now Rebirth has made its vision fully realized. There's really nothing else you could even add to the game at this point. Wait, what's this? Another update? What? Hey, thanks for watching. I'm Snowman and I hope you enjoyed. Tell me your thoughts of Rebirth in the comments below. Do you like it? Do you like the original better? Feel free to subscribe too if you haven't yet. Check out these other videos before you go and I'll see you guys around. Bye!